Connemara. Nestled in the west of Ireland, it's a captivating region full of rugged landscape and natural beauty. Home to towering mountains, pristine lakes and winding roads. It's the ultimate van life destination to kickstart my Irish road trip. What an incredible place to wake up. Right behind me here is Pine Island View, one of my most favorite spots in all of Connemara. Let's go get a closer look. Right behind me here is a bridge that allows you to get onto the island. The last time I was here, it was completely submerged in water because the Irish weather was doing what it does best and rained. So let's go across the island now. Also so peaceful so like over in the car park obviously you have the road right beside and people are pulling up but not many people come onto the island so I'm basically sitting here on my own at the moment. Oh, I could stay here all day. I'm currently making my way back over to the van now and this is kickstarting my official start of my van life road trip around Ireland. We are now on the road full time exploring some of the most incredible places and I'm bringing you along with me. But I'm not alone on this road trip so let me go introduce you to Sarah. Hello! Tales of Tiny Boots and we are gonna bring you on a kick-ass road trip around Connemara. Yes, please. Let's go explore! So we had to pull in because of some traffic on the road. <laughs> um, hey guys, can I get through please? No? Hi. I swear, every five minutes as you drive around, there's somewhere beautiful to stop. Let's get it, Kirk. Do you want to feed sheep for a euro? Oh, I have a euro. I have five euro. Do you, actually... do you want to feed them? Yeah. So over here good. you can feed sheep. Oh, do you want to go check the view out first? Yeah, and good. then, yeah, let's go. It's so pretty here. I literally like the sounds of nature, surrounding mountains. I think I'm used to this lifestyle, you know that? <laughs> she's funny, she's cute, and she's tiny. I'm none of those things. You're not tiny? I'm normal sized and I'm an aggressive, not cute person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, never mind me, look at this view. <laughs> what do you think about it? I think it's top notch. Deep time? I think that was a yes. <laughs> hey y'all. So how it works is it looks like it's an honesty box. So you pop them in. So I have 60 cents, you 50. Should we just give them 110? Let's feed the sheep. Hi guys. Hi, hello. Oh, why are you walking away from me? Oh, okay, you're eager. I'm kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh, oh I don't like that. <laughs> I'm glad I have hand sanitizer in the van. <laughs> so like all these guys are bigger. And then this little Baba's here. Hi, are you not getting a look in? Are they all bigger than you? Oh, you're so cute. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm really surprised. It's obviously a destination where a lot of tour companies come. I've never actually been here before. Well, I have, drove through, but I've never stopped. It's always either raining or like dark when I'm going by. So it's definitely a popular spot to stop. We're gonna hop back in the vans and find somewhere a little bit more quieter to have a nice bite to eat. I think like my favorite thing about van life is being able to take it so slow and just chill here, have lunch and then move on when you want to. I was driving back by Pine Island to get to the next destination and it was reflecting and I knew I had to stop and show you what it looks like when it's like this because as you can see it's incredible. I'm just here now. I can see your van. Are you in it? I'm at the end of the town in like a little park. See you in a bit. See you in This town is so cute. <laughs> like, what a view. You've just been sitting here. Oh my god. So Ireland being Ireland, it has started to rain. We did show up at Dogs Bay, which is one of my favorite beaches in Ireland, like crystal clear waters on a summer's day. But yeah, we're not gonna go for a swim in this weather. We were hoping to camp here, but there's no service and you're not allowed to camp at Gertine Bay. So we're gonna try find another spot tonight. So, we found a park up. Wanna see it? Okay, that's enough getting wet for me. Oh, Ireland, you never disappoint. Oh. oh, this weather, lads. Anyway, look, we're safe and sound in our park up. It's a beautiful out there, and hopefully in the morning the weather is a little bit better and we can go out and explore. You. <laughs> Hey, I'll come help, I'll come help. If you push the door from the inside, I'll get the outside. I'll get the outside. Okay, yeah, you close that and I'll come out. Okay, girls, we'll be back in a minute. I'm never going outside again. <laughs> you good morning this is possibly one of my favorite van life park ups so far what a spot to wake up last night was pretty rough it was windy on off uh, the vans are kind of shaking a little bit but to be able to wake up with a view like this have some brekkie in pure paradise to be honest it's absolutely worth it
Like, who doesn't want a view like that in the morning? This beach is incredible. In the back are the Connemara, white sand, gorgeous mountains surrounding it, a beautiful harbour off to the right. You really couldn't ask for a better place. I'd say it is absolutely beautiful when it's sunny. is to head back towards Gertine and Dogs Bay because I do really want to show you how beautiful they are but the thing is about those beaches is they're famous you know you have a lot of people there but we're stopping along the way as we get to the beaches and honestly there's something about this part of Connemara that is so raw it's undiscovered it's beautiful let me just show you what I mean This is crazy. To be here with nobody else around, to be able to see white sand, gorgeous waves, incredible scenery. You just think of places that are more populated and you have the whole beach to share with everyone else. And then you come here and it's just, it's a surreal feeling like. The drive back to Gertine is exactly as I imagined. I found myself stopping every five minutes to take in the beauty of rural Connemara. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. So we have made it to Gertine for the third time on this trip. And to be honest, it didn't go as planned. When we got there, the waves were pretty rough. So instead of heading to Sky Road tonight, which was our original plan, we're after paying for a campsite. We're being very bougie. Keep going, keep going. Okay, there, 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 there. First try. <laughs> White Sandy Beaches all to herself. Welcome to Connemara. We woke up bright and early for Gertine, which is one of the most popular beaches in the area. But if you keep walking past the horseshoe, you'll eventually find private secluded beaches with this gorgeous sand. And you'll have it all to yourself if you get up early enough. Let's get in the water. So van life has caught up on me. I am exhausted. I've just arrived in Clifton. I'm gonna go meet Sarah. We're gonna get ourselves some hot chocolate or something to try revive ourselves. The van's a mess. Um, but yeah. <laughs> well needed piece of chocolate. Mm. That was a good choice. And she has arrived. Look at us sitting outdoors in Ireland. Let's hope it stays. Do you think it will stay? I think it's the tip this evening. I don't know what colour, but this Okay, so we're back from Clifton Town. It was nice just to walk around. The shops are so cute. That is the word to describe it. And it's starting to rain again. So we're hoping, seriously, the Irish weather, like we're hoping to walk out to Clifton Castle um, to explore there. 
because it is really pretty and I feel like it's very underrated. I don't think people tend to go there. So that'd be a nice one to show you what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to make myself a quick bite to eat while, <laughs> while we're waiting for the Irish weather to pick itself back up again. Like this is the current situation. I'm lying in my van. It's raining outside. Clifton Castle's just through there. And I have no energy. I feel like that's another thing that you don't see online of van life is like you're even if you do take it slow and you're not doing too much, like you're still always on the move. Okay. Toasty complete. I'm also gonna eat it from the pan because that's cleaning up. Sarah, look at the cows. We're only like five minutes into the walk and we're about to make some friends. Say hi. Hello. Hi, guys. Oh, there's more friends. I love this walk. Oh, look, they're hidden everywhere. So if you are thinking of doing a walk in Connemara, this is definitely a good one to do because it's similar. It's the same views as Sky Road, but you get to walk it. Get those steps in, you know? There she is, off in the distance. What do you think, Sarah? It's so fucking beautiful. Aww. Oh, I can't take fucking on your videos. Here you can. Fucking beautiful. <laughs> we allow cursing. It's Ireland. I already explained it in my video on things you should not do in Ireland. You should watch that if you haven't. Um, that we curse a lot. Just not in the first 30 seconds of the video. starting to rain, will we shelter on the inside? Yeah. <laughs> There's no roof. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but to be fair, we could go one of them archways because they're thick. Are you thick? Not in there. No, I mean thick. <laughs> Which one are you? Are you ready? I already knew you were going to say yeah. <laughs> you. you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Woo woo woo! Uh, uh, uh. Get out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's reflecting. This stuff like this makes me happy. Yeah. Like beautiful views. I just feel like cameras will never do justice for what your eyes can see though. Yeah. Like look over there, like the little boats. Oh, is there no puddings here? I feel like there's, there's one a bit further down at a bridge. So Sarah is actually a Connemara expert. I lived in Galway for like four years, but I lived in Connemara for three. So this is my spot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we're gonna go show you a beautiful view. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so the weather is deplorable at the moment. No, it's sunny, it's beautiful, but the wind is crazy. So we're hoping that we can kind of, we've been waiting for this one spot to park the van so we can kind of open the doors and watch the sunset in the shelter. Um, and there's just one car there. So we're just desperately hoping that they move. There's Sarah Roach just sitting in the driver's seat, hoping for the best. Let me show you the view from outside the van. What do you think, Sarah? I don't know what I think. <laughs> so seriously, Sarah. I don't know. I feel like I have like brain freeze from the cold wind. <laughs> what do you think of the sunset? It's beautiful, but I'm hoping it'll make a reappearance. <laughs> <laughs> or something like glorify it. Yeah. It's amazing! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not that bad. How incredible is that sunset? It's alright. <laughs> Can't see it. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> it 
It is our final day in Connemara. A little bit sad about it, but we're doing one of the most popular things in the area, and that is hiking Diamond Hill. Over there. And look at this view. So we've been pretty much yapping the whole way up. I have no idea how long it's taken. It's not a very good guide for you, but... Normally it takes me three and a half hours, but I'm very slow. There and back. Yeah, so you take that how you want to. <laughs> but it's actually not too bad of a walk. Like it's definitely strenuous and uphill, but if you have moderate fitness level, you'll be absolutely fine. We're just coming up to the peak now. I just want to point out that there is this narrow piece, unless we've gone the wrong way, which I don't think you can on this hike. And yeah, a little bit of climbing involved. But we're nearly there. <laughs> to the peak. The views from here are incredible. It's literally just 360 views of Connemara um, and you can see Connemara Abbey as well. I've never seen it from this perspective before so that is pretty cool. Once we finished the hike we jumped back in the vans as we made our way out of Connemara but not without stopping by some of the most iconic attractions including the stunning Connemara Abbey, the famous Killery Ford, Lenan, and of course Ashley Falls. I have made it to Duloc Valley, which, but that does mean that the Connemara vlog is now ending. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!